How is it going guys? Welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a very cool little effect on how to echo audio in DaVinci. This is really, really easy. And if you're making an edit, this can be very good. I'm going to show you an edit that I made quickly that I used this echo effect in. Um, and it looked and it sounded really, really good. I'm going to show you how you can do this yourself. The echo effect I used was on the kill sound effects. If you can kind of hear it. It's a subtle thing, um, sort of subtle, that adds quite a lot to your edit in terms of quality. And especially for a type of edit like this. So basically how you do that, uh, if you want to watch the whole edit by itself, I, I will, um, probably if I remember, I will link it in the description for you. It's on my main channel where I do edits and montages and all kinds of sort of things like that. Um, but how you make how you make the echo effect is pretty simple. You basically make sure you have the clip that you want to give the echo effect to. And you're going to want to go to... Um, and, So you're going to want to come down to the toolbox section and scroll down all the way to audio FX. And then there should be a Fairlight FX little sub tab. Click on that. And this is very simple. You don't have to fuck around with any of the actual like Fairlight stuff. Because this is, this can be pretty daunting. And to be honest with you, even after like fucking half a year, six, seven months of editing in DaVinci, I'm still not super comfortable with it. So I completely get if you don't want to use that. But basically, there's an effect called Echo. Um, I know, very, very unintuitive. But you just drag it onto the clip that you want to change. I typically X out of that when it pops up. And I just like to mess with it in the actual effects tab. Because this is just better for me, in my opinion. So this is what it sounds like just normally with the base settings on without me changing anything. It's got like a four second, an entire second of delay. Um, and that's a lot. What I usually do is to see the left delay time is at 500. I think, uh, for, for this montage that I made, I think I brought it down to 200. And the left feedback delay you can change it to about 200-ish. And for the right, you want to do the exact same thing, about 200-ish. It's very hard to get it exactly on the dot. Basically, if it's like 240, that's about right. I got both these to 229. It's kind of cool. Yeah, 229, 240-ish, something like that is basically the best. And now let's play it. I don't know if that's very easy for you guys to hear. But that is much more re re resembling of this montage, or this edit, sorry. And it just sounds good, especially when you have actual, F uh, sorry, actual sound effects. This is just like the audio of a clip. This, you would, you would never really do it like this. But when you actually have actual SFX, so you're putting this on, and you have background music and all these visuals and everything, it just comes together and it looks so good and sounds so good. And you have like a little bit of muffle too, makes it a bit better. Um, I do have a video already on how to muffle audio. So if you want to do that too, check it out. Um, and yeah, drop a like, make sure you guys do subscribe for more editing tutorials like this. If this helped you in any way, shape or form, make sure you do drop a like or a sub. Yeah, stay awesome and peace out.